so this is the room I've been in for the past week like I said there is miscommunication with the contractor so I've been working out of a mess everything is just everywhere but this is the room I'm supposed to be in oh let me turn the music off this is the room I'm supposed to be in me and my friend just put this up um just like a little art installation for the wall my room is gonna be mostly white we still gotta put baseboards in but i'm just moving stuff in that i can move in right now so yeah this will be my room What's up you guys? So I am finally getting around to filming the salon tour vlog. It's been a crazy couple of weeks with everything going on in the world right now. And then I had some issues with my kitty cat. I had to take her to the hospital. And then moving in was kind of a pain in the butt too. There was a lot of miscommunication with the contractors. So like my suite wasn't ready in time. But, the good news is, is it's finally ready. And so we're gonna go in, I'm gonna show you guys how I set everything up, how I organized everything, where I got some stuff from. Um, it's pretty much done. There's a couple things I think I'm gonna change, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty much done. So let's go in, let's go check it out. All right, you guys, welcome to my new studio. Obviously, we're in the salon, so I have to wear my mask. But this is my little cute studio. Super tiny, but honestly, it's the perfect size for just me. I'm obsessed with it. So I have this, like, cute sliding door that I put these, um... I don't even know what they're called, but they stick with static electricity and it just gives it this like really pretty rainbow effect when the light hits it, but it kind of fogs the uh, windows a little bit on these. So that way it just adds a little more privacy because, you know, people like to stare. So when you first walk in, I have my glitter wall which obviously I need to fill in. I still need to organize also, but this is the best I could do for now. I have my cute little towel bins. Okay, so this is my Valentino polish shelf. I have all my Valentino products on here, all of my gel polishes, which I'm still working on getting the entire collection. And then I have all of my colored acrylics and my covers down here. 
up here we just have some little cute trinkets that people have given me over the years my unicorns my Rachel glam sign a crystal for some good luck good vibes you know we have more polishes over here these are like random polishes I don't use as often um, but I have this cute marble countertop which this is just a contact paper that I got from Walmart and I had my friend just put it on there for me because before it was this like ugly gray color and I was like this is not matching the aesthetic so we have these cute little marble counters now my barbicide stuff to clean everything with my little sink down here we have all of the cleaning supplies and refill stuff so I buy everything in the gallon or by the gallon so that way I never run out and of course we got the cleaning shit so that way nobody getting corona okay up here we just have some shelves again with cute little trinkets and toys and some of my nail art that I've done over the years these are all of like my favorites that I've done um, just displayed for everybody to see up here we have all of my certificates well this isn't even half of them these are like the most important certificates up here though so then when you start looking in the cabinets I have my buffers and files so I never run out because I use a new one on each client and then I have some steam off machines for my gel polish clients and this one I have a bunch of bins that are labeled clean implements dirty implements and then I clean these at the end of each day extra bling stuff that I still need to put magnets on and organize and then some extra e-files some stamps these look like my filters for my Valentino machine and then just extra product that I like to have so that way I never run out of course and then when you come down here in my Valentino shelf I have extra acrylics that I don't really use but it's always good to have extra and extra gel polishes that I don't use um, and then these are all of like my stickers and decals and here I have all of my encapsulating foils and stuff for chrome and then this I have all of my chrome in here and then my gel pod polishes which is all that tro and some of that mission control stuff which I don't mind but typically I I just use the Valentino polish to polish everything paint so over here is my little nail desk I have my gel lamps my Valentino machine the gen 4 but I got mine before the white came out so I have gray and then of course my V unit e-file um, when you look at these drawers these are actually I just got this desk from Ikea where you just like buy all the parts separately and then I got these marble tiles from Home Depot that they were like a sticker on the back so you take them off and then stick them onto the desk and then I got a piece of glass cut for the top of the desk and then we cocked it so that way the glass doesn't move on the table but it's super easy to clean so then when you look in the drawers I have some cotton my masks um, and all of my liquids so like acetone alcohol monomer some brush cleaner cuticle softener and here I have my gloves and all of the acrylics that I use the most I have nail forms, my bits, up here is all of like my polishes and stuff, which these little organizers were just from like Dollar Tree I think, but I have all my brushes in here, my little gel plates for when I do characters and such, nail art or whatever, um, all of my different top coats, so matte, shiny, um, my base coats, and then all of my prep and prime stuff, cuticle oils, 
and then some dappin dishes and then up here I have all of my files and buffers like I said I use a new one of these on each client so that way I can ensure it stays clean so over here is my lash bed a lot of people don't know that I do lashes it's kind of just like a side thing for me but I have my little lash card over here with my shampoo my misters my glues all of my lash stuff and then any extra stuff that like I buy in bulk I just put it on the bottom shelf um, and then above this wall I have a little painting which I think I'm gonna change this because I feel like it's too bright for the room I feel like I need something different and then my little stay humble sign which I love this is what I have tattooed on my arm I don't know if you guys have seen this tattoo before maybe in my pictures or something but this says be humble in Korean you pronounce it as Kim Sun um, this is something my mom would always tell me so when I saw this sign I was like this is so perfect because literally I always hear my mom's voice in my head when I'm like acting out and she she always told me that growing up so I love that sign it's the perfect touch for this little room and then this is my big accent wall these are just tiles from Amazon um, I'll link everything down below but this was inspired by the Valentino headquarters they have these up um, at the headquarters they cover the entire wall and originally I was gonna cover the entire wall but I don't measure things so I um, I didn't have enough tiles to cover the entire thing so I was like well let's get them up and we decided to make like this cool little shape so now it looks like kind of like a art installation or something but definitely adds a lot to the room it gives it the shadow but it's still white so it's bright I wanted to do everything white so it made the room appear a little bit bigger but yeah this is everything you guys thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you liked it give it a big thumbs up and comment down below of what other videos you guys would like to see or if you want to see more of my how I organize and do things let me know down below don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell notification so that way you're notified every time I upload a new video and don't forget to go order your new Valentino Beauty Pure face mask you can use discount code LAM10 and I will link everything that you guys saw in today's video down below to the best of my ability as long as I can remember where I got it from. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.